ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. It has been probably a good seven, eight, maybe even nine years since I have done a review of this particular company. But after that extremely long hiatus, we're back with the Henny's Cider Company. Um, yeah, I've done three of their range many, many years ago, but this one always uh, slipped by for whatever reason. Today, I am doing a bottle of their classic, or I suppose you could say their original, maybe. Who knows? Uh, so, yeah, Henny's has been around for a while, but it's, it's, it's kind of dropped off uh, the face of the earth a little bit. You don't really see Henny's about at all anymore, at least around my area anyway. They used to get them all in Tesco and all the supermarkets and everything, but it's, um, yeah, it really hasn't really shown its face anymore. Uh, I can't remember where I got this from. It might have been um, Sainsbury's, actually. I do believe that they have this in stock. So um, if I've got that wrong, I'll obviously pop a note on if it is uh, slightly different. But yeah, Henny's Classic Superior Quality Dry Cider. Mm, superior quality. At least it's not premium, I guess. At Henny's, we believe that the best way to make cider is to start with high quality ingredients and to keep the process as simple as possible. This has helped us to win many prestigious awards in recent years. Each autumn, carefully selected, locally grown varieties of genuine cider apples are milled, pressed and fermented. The resulting cider is then blended and stored through the winter, allowing it to mature and develop a rich and mellow flavour. Our finished cider retains the distinctive fruity aromatic character of ripe bittersweet apples, whilst being crisp, light and refreshing. Sip or quaff, we don't mind, as long as you enjoy it. Cheers! From Mike Henny, apparently. It's got the protected geographical indication logo on the back, so you know it's the real deal. No artificial sweetener, colourings or flavourings. Uh, contains sulfites, suitable for vegans and vegetarians. Hmm. Usually you say it the other way around, don't you? If it's suitable for vegans, then it is going to be suitable for vegetarians, mostly. Uh, and anyway, besides the point, as you can see, it comes in 500ml bottles and is 6% ABV. So quite a nice little strength there. So there we are. That's all the spiel. Let's just uh, get this into the glass and hope that it doesn't erupt like my last review did. No. Good. No secondary bottle fermentation for this cider, thankfully. Okay, that's actually, seen as it's marketing itself as a dry cider, that doesn't smell as dry as some other dry ciders that I've had, if that makes sense. So, but as I've seen before in the past, the smells on the bottle are completely different to the smells in the glass sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to uh, hold that thought for now. So there we go, you go there. Now, can I reach over for the colour? Now I'll bring it over, why not? So let's bring it over. Crystal clear, as you can see, very lightly carbonated, and I would say that is a pretty standard side of colour. It is a light amber dark golden colour, but yeah, overall, for a uh, more supermarket-based cider, that's actually not bad at all. So, what does it smell like in the glass? I'm going to be honest, not a whole lot. Okay, there's subtle green apple aromas there. Smells sweeter than it's um, letting itself on to be. I want to even say a touch of a touch of like raspberry or strawberry or something like that. There's definitely some sort of fruity undertone there, but yeah, really very subdued aromas here. Hardly getting anything on the glass. So, oh well, let's see if it's in the taste, shall we? Cheers, everyone, and uh, yeah, well, is Henny's still a cider to watch out for? Let's find out. Cheers. Caramel. Caramel right off the bat. Yeah, wow, that is very prominent. Hmm, okay. Well, okay, that it definitely does taste dry. It's not the driest cider I've ever had, but it is definitely more on the dry side. Some people would probably say medium dry, but I think it is slightly drier than that. It's not bone dry, let me tell you that right off the bat. It's definitely not bone dry, but it definitely has those dry characteristics to it. 
The first thing that initially really hit me with this cider is the overwhelming flavour of caramel and toffee all throughout the taste as well. Normally with that sort of stuff, it sort of builds up and, you know, suddenly hits you maybe on the back end. But no, this cider has it in abundance right from the start. Not a lot of acidity going on initially. It is actually rather sweet to begin with. And then the dry, soft tannin come through on the, on the back end and the finish. But you are still getting those lovely, smooth caramel and toffee flavours just going all throughout. Gives it a really nice full body behind it as well. Uh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. It's a touch bittersweet on the finish, uh, which it did say on the back of the bottle it was going to be. Do you know what? This is, this is nice. This is very nice, actually. I like it. Now, the ironic thing is that uh, Henny's actually do a dry cider and they marked it as a dry cider, or they used to. They might have relabeled it and repackaged it and called it Henny's Classic now, who knows. To be fair, the, the label does look very similar to the dry that I had. I just went back through my old videos and it looks like they might have just rebranded the dry as uh, something else. I hope not, because otherwise I've just reviewed the exact same cider, but Interesting to see if it is um, the, exactly the same, just how it's changed over the years since I've had it. But to be fair, this is a very well-made cider. Uh, if, obviously, if you don't like tar uh, caramel, oh my goodness, caramel and toffee, that's what I meant to say. It came out as caramel. But if you don't like those sorts of flavours, this isn't really going to be the cider for you. But for a supermarket cider that you can get, this is definitely one of the better high-end ones, I want to say. So, yeah, let's go for a final taste for a final verdict. Uh, yeah, I have no problems with that cider at all. That is rather nice. That is pleasant. Um, it tastes a little bit weaker than 6%, I'm going to say, so a little bit on the dangerous side there. Not quite so if it was like 7 or 8%, then obviously it is a, a danger cider, as to say. But, you know, 6% is still a nice average sort of strength for a cider. And, yeah, the flavours are nice. They're balanced there's uh, just that nice little tannin on the back end it's smooth full-bodied um keeps you going back in for more as well i wouldn't exactly call it refreshing but it's one of these ciders that um you know i can de definitely see just sitting down in the evening and just having a nice bottle of it definitely so yeah big props to uh mike henny obviously uh they still make some really good ciders after all these years so yeah i would say definitely keep an eye out for this one uh with that said i am actually going to go and give henny's classic dry cider a very well deserved eight out of ten so yeah if you're in the supermarket it's probably sainsbury's probably morrison's maybe it's normally those sorts of supermarkets you get hennies in now but if you do uh, spot this and you've never tried it yeah i would definitely say give it a go along with most of the rest of their range have been pretty good there has been one exception to that which was their autumn gold which you don't really see anymore so you know that's by the by but yeah, if you see this one, definitely give it a go. And with that said, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it. And as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, well, can I reach round? Oh, yes, I can. There we are. Well, I'm home alone tonight, so this is uh, definitely going to go down a treat while I chillax in the living room. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.